do need to remove the sizing lubricant from your cases prior to using them in your firearm. Removing the sizing lubricant is more important than generally recognized, partly because it seems to have no ill effects. But it actually does have ill effects. It will take a little while to explain, but one way to think of this is when you fire a ball neck cartridge with a little too much headspace, where does the case eventually crack? Just ahead of the thick part of the case head web, right? But why? The reason why is because when the firing pin strikes the primer, the loosely fitting cartridge moves ahead ever so slightly inside the chamber until stopped by the shoulder. Then the primer explodes and the powder ignites, which creates huge pressure inside the case. Due to that pressure, the case diameter expands until completely filling the inside of the chamber. When sizing lubricant, which is designed to stay slippery even under extreme pressure, has been removed from the case, this causes the case to grip the inside of the chamber to resist rearward movement of the case. The case, unable or just mostly unable to move backward due to the spike in pressure, exerts forces on the bullet at the one end and the case head at the rear. If the case head space was too large, the case head is not in contact with the bolt face. Remember, it was jolted forward by the firing pin strike. So the case head then stretches towards the bolt until stopped by the bolt head. This is the only place with any give because the rest of the case has such a tight grip on the inside of the chamber walls. This very localized stretching region results in the thinning of the case just ahead of the thick portion of the case head web resulting in the crack eventually forming there. So what's the takeaway from this? The takeaway, regardless whether it has perfect headspace or not, is that the rearward pressure placed against the bolt face is reduced by the case gripping the inside walls of the chamber. Result? Maybe the gun doesn't blow up because the bolt is strong enough, but it's still much harder on the gun, and unnecessarily so. So I would say that failing to remove sizing lubricant is simply a very poor reloading practice. And this applies to all cartridge designs, straight ball included.